Welcome to Win With Barlow, the podcast where we turn your entrepreneurial dreams into reality. With your host, Akira Barlow. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of DNA testing businesses. Looking to maintain momentum or ready to scale? This series is your guide to success. Let's get started. Hello, family, and welcome back to another audio learning session with your girl. It's Akira Barlow of Win With Barlow. You guys already know the vibes. We are talking about winning, starting a DNA testing business over here. (laughs) That's what we are doing on this channel, right? So listen, y'all have been showing me so much love, and I appreciate it so much. When I first thought about bringing what I do in this business to social media and to the internet, I just was very hesitant. I just didn't really want to do it. I honestly kind of really enjoyed doing it in private. So I was a little nervous about how people were going to respond. I just didn't know if I was even up to the whole internet thing, right? But it has been such a rewarding thing, I must say. There's been a few trolls, a few craziness happening but hey I can handle it all right you girl I look I got so skin I can handle it I can handle more than they think all right today we are talking about whether DNA testing is a get rich quick scheme and yes this episode has been triggered by just a few of the crazies all right I gotta show me just a little attention if you have been here on this channel if you have been following me if you're not and you're new listen I'm the DNA queen. All right. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like this video, and follow me on Instagram at Win with Barlow. Okay. <laughs> but if you have been following this channel, if you have been following me, you know that I stand for hard freaking work. You already know that. I am. Look, if you look up hard work in the dictionary, baby, I know my picture, my thumb, my my pinky toe, something of mine is present, all right? I literally tell y'all all the time, like, this is not one of those. And when I say one of those, y'all know what I mean. It's not one of those businesses that is going to, like, if you're lazy, this just ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? It's just not. If you don't have no hustle, if you don't have true ambition, if you're not into networking, making calls, if you're not into, you know, showing up for yourself and for your business, if you're not, you know, a person that can strategize and come up with different options and, you know, if you're not creative, like this is not for you. I'm just going to keep it 1000. And this is what it is. I've realized that some people do better at this business than others. And those who don't do very well are people who are looking to make money tomorrow. These are people that are not trying to really put together a process or, you know, come up with a real strategy to actually do this. When I have consultations with people, I've heard people like, you know, they tell me like, well, you know, I've been doing it for, you know, the last four or five months. I'm not making no money. Like, what am I doing? So when I start to break down their daily routine and I start to break down their marketing efforts and I start to break down their consistency, I started to realize like, hey, the, the problem is not with the business. The problem is with you. You have to be committed to you know, showing up and representing your brand because it's a business that requires people to trust you. It's like, because think about you as a consumer. Are you just going to pick anybody off the street to have access to your child's DNA, especially your newborn? So think about this as a consumer. You want to build that trust. You want to build that visibility and that consistency. If you are trying to get someone's attention and you want them to shop with you, but you're only posting on social media, you know, once a week, these folks going to feel like you are not a real business. You're not a real location and they're not going to be open to giving you their money. So if you are looking to just come up with something that's quick and easy to make some money, this is not that. Like this is that, but this is not that. <laughs> All right. And I say this is that because if you're consistent, if you're ready to hustle, if you're ready to put in the work, if you're ready to show up. When I first started this business, maybe my man, I had bags under my eyes like 
man, y'all look like somebody had tap danced on my face or a mosquito bit me. Like, and I was just walking around looking like I was sleep deprived because I was, man, I was going so hard. I was making calls. I was recording presentations. I was jumping on zooms with people. And y'all got to understand there wasn't a lot of information out there for me to kind of replicate my business model. Like y'all get me. I feel like that's the cheat code, man. Drop some, look, throw me some fire down in the comments. If you feel like I've been a cheat code for you. I feel like I'm a cheat code for a lot of people. I didn't have that. I didn't have nobody that was doing this at the capacity in which I wanted to do it. So there was nobody I could copy. Nobody was letting me see their business policies or letting me know what their cancellation policy was. Like, I didn't have that. So I kept trying stuff, figuring it out when things would happen, when I would have issues with people. Like, that would, that would be what would trigger a policy or or we would come up with stuff based on what, like what we were experiencing in the business. So it's definitely not one of those things things that, you know, you're going to be able to start on Monday and think you're going to have a million dollars by Wednesday. It's definitely not one of those things. So I don't ever, you know, want to come across or put out content that makes y'all feel like I didn't actually put in no work because your girl did. I'm not going to lie, man. Shh. I missed a lot of football games. I missed a lot of school functions trying to build this thing out. You know, I was looking at other businesses like Chick-fil-A, all types of places, just trying to look at things that they were doing so that I could take some of those customer service strategies or some of those visibility and marketing things that they were doing to kind of implement in my own brand so that we could stand out and so people could say, hey, I'm calling this company. I've been seeing them everywhere. They on the news. They're, they're on the side of the bus at the bus bench. I'm going to check them out because I've been, I, I see that they're here. So it's definitely not a get rich quick scheme. It's definitely not a get rich quick type of business either. You're going to have to spend some money, y'all. I know that getting started and getting this business off the ground is so appealing because it doesn't require a lot. You know, LLC, a partnership, phone payment process, and you got a business. So that's really, really cool when it's so appealing, but you got to be ready to invest in it. And I feel like that is like your, kind of like your, you know, it's like some businesses take a lot to start, right? And then you got to market. I look at this, it's like, okay, it doesn't take a lot to start. So I can take most of my money that I need to invest in this thing to make it work and put it into the marketing because really that's what this thing is going to take a lot of marketing. So just wanted to come in, come on here real quick, drop some love to y'all, let y'all know that this is not one of those type of businesses and I don't want to have you all out here thinking that you're going to be able to start this thing on Sunday and be rolling in a Rolls Royce on Wednesday, baby. Okay. Of course. Look, I want to see that. Like, I, I, look, I do. But y'all, we have to put in work and this is just the reality of anything. No matter what you see on social media, social media, I don't care if you're selling those courses with the MRR resale rights, whatever, whatever, everything requires marketing. It takes time. So definitely understand that you're going to have to build this thing out. All right. So thank y'all for being here. Thanks for tuning in. Show me some love in the comments. Let me know that y'all are enjoying the lessons and I'll see you in the next audio session.